This is the third video for the concatenated orderings ordinal analysis in the OM software. Recall from the previous two videos we were examining these contrived data from chapter 10 of the OOM software manual. Now for these contrived data we have two groups of rats. We have experimental rats and we have control rats. And then we had two different predicted ordinal patterns as shown here. In the second video we were particularly interested in exploring the classification in precision option within the analysis. And in this video we're going to explore several of the other options shown here. So let's switch over to the OM software and resume our analysis of these data. Before returning to the concatenated orderings ordinal analysis, let's examine the deep structure of these data once again. So we'll select the Define Orderings button, and recall from the previous video that I had arbitrarily defined the units of observation here in terms of three bar presses. So the first unit is 0, 1, and 2, the second unit is 3, 4, and 5, the third unit is 6, 7, 8, and so forth. Now it's up to you how you define your units of observation, of course, but ideally you'll want that decision to be based on a complete theoretical understanding of exactly what your numbers mean. But my goal here is to show you how the ordinal analysis will change depending upon whether you're analyzing the data as they're shown in the data edit window or analyzing these deep structures. So let's close this window and return to the ordinal analysis. Now before doing so I'm going to toggle the deep structures so we can see the deep structure values here. Now we can select analyses, ordinal analysis, and concatenate orderings. You see that I have the trials already moved over and we have the separation grouping ordering there. And we see that the analyze option is set to numbers. So as currently set and as we saw in the previous two videos, that means we would be analyzing the actual bar presses. But now let's switch it to deep structures. So we can now analyze the deep structures as shown in the data edit window. Let's place our focus on the control rats. Let's remind ourselves what the ordinal pattern was expected to appear as for each rat. So here we have the ordinal pattern of perfect equivalence. And now in terms of the deep structures, we can see that control rat number one, for example, fits this ordinal pattern perfectly. Notice how for B1, B2, T1, and T2, and T3, all of the bar presses are within that first unit of observation. Control rat number two fits almost perfectly except for T3, where you see the bar press is 3 to 5, whereas for the other trials it was 0 to 2. Then we have a missing case here for uh, T2, or missing observation rather, for T2. Notice control rat number 3 fits perfectly, as does number 4 and number 5. Control rat number 6, even though there are two missing observations there, also fits perfectly. All the deep structures are equal. And then lastly, the seventh control rat doesn't fit perfectly because of trial number 2. So we can see what the analysis is going to accomplish here then. And let's go ahead and run it. So we'll select OK here. We already have the individual results selected. So we'll select OK to run the analysis. We'll start by examining the individual control rats. And sure enough, as we had already anticipated, control rat number two and control rat number seven did not fit the strict ordinal pattern perfectly with regard to the deep structures. And then for the overall results, we see the percent correct classifications for the, all the pairwise comparisons is 88.14, very impressive. And then four out of the five rats with complete data fit the ordinal pattern perfectly, 80%. Again, according to the deep structures. So as we saw with the imprecision index, this is a way that you might build in a little wiggle room into the expected ordinal patterns. And we can scroll up and take a look at the experimental rats. And again, the results are excellent. We see for the individual results, only rat number five did not fit the ordinal pattern perfectly. And then for all possible pairwise comparisons, we got 90.79% as the PCC index. And then six of the seven rats with complete data fit the ordinal pattern perfectly. That's 85.71%. So overall, the results based on the deep structures of the orderings are very impressive.